Hi, Laura Cahill. I'm here in the East Room. Yeah, our East Reading Room. East Reading Room of our new uh, Milton Public Library. Um, this is actually one of the areas in the building that's been renovated and um, meeting with Phil McNulty, who is the director of the library. And Phil is going to take us on a tour and just speak a little bit right now about some of what's happened um, over the course of the past yeah, we've been open. We've we'll been open in this building for the last year, um, April of uh, 2009. We opened, mm -hmm. and we've had a lot of good activity since then. Um, the project, the building construction project, um, started in July '07 when we get it, gave it the building to the contractor. So he spent almost two years wow. working on it. Well, it, it's amazing. The building, Thanks. the facilities are absolutely beautiful, and one of the things that I think is so nice for people to be able to see with a video tour is just how thoughtful some of the the design here is. And I wonder if you could speak a little bit about that. Who was the person who um, oh, sure. who, yeah. who yeah. really was responsible for a lot of the design work? Well, the architects we had in place way back in 02 were Schwartz Silver Associates and they, they ran the project. We didn't actually put the design, the interior design team in place until um, we actually started construction. And we chose um, Angela O'Brien of OSO Interiors, who had done a lot of other libraries. Um, we saw Hanover work, we saw her work in um, Concord and Dracut, and she really had a great sense of color use, and we liked the, the use of color in those buildings. And this room's a perfect example yeah. of, of that, the color. I mean. And I've had so many people in the public asking, you know, what are the colors in this room? Either this blue or the, the, the misty green that's in the, the outer foyer here, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I've, you know, three or four people have given out the, what the color charts are and stuff like that, so they really feel like, and other people have been asking about what the furniture is, and mm -hmm. Angela was, had a great sense of her fabrics and going with colors in different areas and making it a little bit lively. She just did a beautiful job. Yeah. I think one of the things that I appreciate the most is um, that, for sure, the teenagers are here. Mm -hmm. um, they love the room upstairs that I, we're going to be able to see. Right. Yeah. And it really has become a community center. It's a place where yeah. Um, yeah, I know I came here to see a movie, and um, I think you That was you the mentioned. Sustainable Milton movie, The Food exactly. and Exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, and and um, I know that there are concerts. Uh, I haven't been to a concert yet. But uh, looking forward yeah, we've had to a few. We've got one coming up in May. Um, the last one we had was a um, cello concert by Louis Leguia, who is a retired um, Milton resident mm -hmm. who, who uh, uh, was on the Boston Symphony Orchestra for many years. We had buses coming in from Fuller Village and Uncle House, and we filled a room Isn't for him great. one afternoon a couple of weeks ago. It truly is a community center. It's not just a library. That's what was the whole idea when we were trying to put the building back together. It it's, it's not just the book warehouse. It's a place where people would get together and, and share ideas and, and be neighbors and be making more of a community. And so proud to be able to show it off. Um, I love when I have uh, a customer from out of state mm -hmm. and to be able to bring them by and just have them visit the library and see what a library can do. Well, I'm be. very happy that, that Remax Kales has organized this so we can uh, show off in the library. We did a little video tour went during construction, but we haven't really showed it off um, since it's been live and, and in action. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lauren. This is our new book area, and um, you can see we get some more of the new materials that we use. This this three form plastic we've used at tables and things like that, and we use a lot of bamboo. You'll see on our service desks, um, um, bamboo is, is a green material. It's in terms of renewable resource and things like that, and also we thought it would look really nice. Um, new books, books are still our main business here. When you want to come and get something to read, the, the best way of doing it, despite all the newer technology out there, is to get one of ours and and uh, keep it for two, three weeks and, and um, renew it for another two or three weeks if you like and, and then turn it back. It's the most cost effective way to get your reading done here at the library still. But we've got a lot more than that. We've got, um, of course, our DVDs, our, our biggest um, per item use still, you know, despite Netflix and things like that. Uh, we've got a great audio CD collection. We've got um, a lot of new technology things. We've got downloadable books on tape as well as um, things called playaways, which are MP3 players um, that uh, have the, the, uh, the book on tape coded onto them. We still got books on CD and we still for a short time have um, books on regular cassette tape, but those, those, are, those might be gone pretty soon. Of great interest to the folks coming in here is our public use computers. We've got about uh, 30 machines that folks can use to get onto the internet, uh, do word processing, um, 
do PowerPoints up, whatever they have to do. Um, a lot of folks are going on and doing job searching here at the library with, the, with our computers. They are um, making up resumes on the online web resume sites and they're moving them around to folks. Or they're, it's just amazing to me how, mu how much they're used. We had, um, last month was March, we, we had over 3,000 signups for use of the computers, which was a record breaker for us. Um, so that is, is really taking off. Um, what we do is, is you get a couple hours free every day with, if you sign onto the computer with your library card. If people need more time or if they're just coming into town and they, they don't have a library card, they don't need to sign up on them. We also have a, an option to, to uh, pay a dollar into our machine and get an hour long gone for that. So those have been um, really useful. Uh, we have that, a uh, few of them down on our level here where the, where the um, new books are, but most of them up on a reference area uh, by the reference desk. Uh, by the young adult room. We've got a few in our young adult room. And young adult room is, is an area we've got a lot of the middle schoolers coming in after school and we really target it as an area that you walk into it, it's something that is unique to them. It, an adult walks in there and says, oh, I'm no, I'm no longer in an adult space. The furnishings that, uh, that we set up in there and, and so on sort of speak to that. And the collections there are supposedly going to be things that are of interest for the, for the uh, kids to read for their personal use. Um, school assignment stuff we get scattered through the rest of the collections in the building so the, that is a real personal space for the young adults and middle schoolers of, of town to be and they're really using it that heavily. We also have a small conference room that seats up to 16 people that you can also book for uh, for $50 if it's a private thing, function or a community group can book it for free if they're if they're having a, a, you know an officers meeting or something else that's a that's a community focused meeting for a, for a nonprofit group in Milton.